All right, what up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Living the Dream podcast. Today on the show, we are talking about something I heard James Clear talk about. And James Clear is the author of Atomic Habits. He was in some video. I think it was just an Instagram reel. And he talked about establishing the habit and then building it. And so that's what we're talking about today. And really, I want to talk about the fact that in order to establish the habit, you really need to focus your thoughts and stop letting your mind always wonder. And so I'm talking a lot about this because when you're setting goals, if you don't know what you want and you don't know how you're going to get there, it is very easy to let your mind wonder and to have shiny object syndrome, especially as an entrepreneur, because you're like, it's not working yet. It's not working yet. It's been 60 days. It's been two weeks. It's been two years. It's not working yet. Let me switch it up. But first you need to establish the habit and then you need to build it. And Alex Hormozzi talks a lot about this too. A lot of people just lack stick to itiveness Stick to itiveness Anyway, they don't stick to stuff for a long enough time to actually see the results. He's like, if you simply did 100 dials every day for 90 days, you'd see some results. If you did 100 dials every day for a year, you'd see a lot of results. And so it's the idea of establishing this habit and then getting good at it. A lot of people also stop doing things because they are really just struggling with how bad they are at it. They're insecure about how bad they are at it. Well, to get good at something, you have to do it often, which is something I'm continually trying to get in my head. Anyway, that's what we're talking about today. We are talking about establishing the habit and then building it. And where has it shown up in my life? I would say the first place it's shown up and the most consistent place it's shown up is the podcast. So with the podcast, I just started the podcast. I still don't really edit the podcast to this day, but just now, I'm talking 300 episodes in, I'm thinking about, okay, how can I make these individual podcasts um, geared towards trending topics in the self-improvement space? How can I make these individual podcasts be geared towards a better quality camera? And then how can I make my video clips have better captions? How can I make my video clips have better uh, thumbnails? Because with thumbnails and good captions, you keep people's attention with a good hook, which is a good title, you get people's attention. So first you got to get the attention with the thumbnail. Really the thumbnail gets the attention and the title gets the attention. So if I pick a trending topic and make a podcast on it, I'll get more attention. And if I have a good thumbnail, that attention will click, right? At that point, they need to stay engaged in the video, which there are all sorts of editing things you can do. And right now I'm just focused on making good quality captions, big text with different colors in the text. A lot of influencers who do reels do this type of stuff. And I'm just now focused on that. But first I had to establish the habit of having a daily podcast. Now that I have the daily podcast, I need to start improving on the daily podcast. And I am less insecure about just making content. Like I'll just post a one minute podcast. I'll post a two minute podcast um, because I'm just posting daily to keep that habit because consistency is a great habit. Another place it's shown up in my life is the gym. I used to be really consistent with the gym when I had an accountability system around sports. But now that I don't have that accountability system, it's easy to skip, right? And so I'll be like, just show up to the gym and do one exercise. Just show up and do two exercises. Like just show up to the gym. And this was James Clear's example, actually. He had somebody who was like, just go to the gym and leave after five minutes, leave after two minutes and just show up every day. He had somebody who he was working with who showed up every day for six weeks, but he could only go for like two minutes or five minutes or something like that. Now that dude like runs marathons and is in great shape because he established the habit and then he built it. Now, where do I want it to show up in my life? I would say across the board in business, in sales specifically, like revenue generating activity. I need to establish the habit habit of doing revenue generating activity and then I need to build upon that habit. So right now... um. I talked in the beginning about needing to focus, right? Like your thoughts are wondering. I've had many things I wanted to sell, courses, all that good stuff, many ways I've wanted to do real estate. And I've like, I'm like, in order to deem a day as successful, I need to do this one thing. And that one thing is has to do with one focused goal. So for the longest time I had four goals, or I had five goals, or I had too many goals, I needed one. Because when I have one, it's very simple. I'm like, if I do this thing, I will have a successful day. And you can do other things too. But this one thing makes the day successful. And if you don't get this one thing done, 
you need to um, reevaluate your calendar and do it first. And you need to make it a thing that you can do consistently. And with that focused thought, with that focused goal, my mind doesn't wonder. And then you have some stuff you have to deal with, like emotions and all that good stuff, because um, you'll get bored, you'll get impatient. And we'll talk about that in later podcasts. I'm sure we've talked about it in previous podcasts, but it's always a theme for me right now in this current season. So where do I want it to show up in my life? Really, in the sales thing, revenue generating activity. Right now, that looks like putting real estate deals together, specifically syndication deals. And the first step to putting those syndication deals together is raising capital. And really, it's networking with people who can raise capital. So right now, the one activity I can do to deem a day as successful is connect and reach out to one person who has the potential to raise $10 million plus dollars for a real estate syndication or know somebody who can raise $10 million plus dollars for a real estate syndication until I have 10 people who I'm on good terms with, good business terms with, so I can do business with them uh, in my network. Once I have that, I'll move to experience. Once I have experience, I'll move to brokers. And there you go. How can you apply to your life? I would say get clear on your goals and then pick one activity that you know can push you towards your goals and then build that habit. Like this is the thing about goals and dreams. What We know what we need to do. We just need to do it consistently. And so I don't think the clarity will be hard for you. I don't think the action will be hard for you, but pick something. Do it to a very small scale. Like I could shoot out 50 LinkedIn connections and shoot out 50 LinkedIn messages, but that's not going to be sustainable for me personally. Like there are going to be days where I just don't do that, but to shoot out one message or to shoot out one reply to a message I sent out earlier, like that's stuff that I can do every day or to just hop on a call that I scheduled last week. That's stuff I can do every day. And so make sure it's at a really small scale. Just go to the gym for two minutes. Do that for six weeks straight and see where it gets you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Establish the habit, then build it. As we always ask, go ahead and shoot this podcast over to one to three people you know need to hear this message. Give us a five-star review on iTunes if you liked the show. And we have a clarity course up. I think it's on my TikTok and my Instagram. Go ahead and check that out. It's like a dollar, I think, right now. Um, But yeah, it's really to help you get clear on your dreams and goals because that's what this whole podcast is about. So um Go look it up. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. And on that note, we're out.